One of the most common corrections that I address when I teach is related to properly turning the shoulders. So in this video, I'm gonna show you what it looks like to fully turn the shoulders on both the forehand and the backhand. I'll also show you some examples of the wrong way to do it and then give you a simple way that you can ensure you turn your shoulders every time on both your forehand and backhand so that not only do you hit stronger shots, but there's less risk of things like tennis elbow because we're using our whole body on the swing rather than just our arm. A lot of the time you'll see a player and their shoulder is perpendicular to the net, which means that their shoulder is actually not fully turned. We want that shoulder to go past perpendicular so that we're coiling the upper body. We're gonna get a lot more power. It's also a lot healthier on the arm. And so this is what it looks like to fully turn the shoulders on both the forehand and the backhand. And a really good thing to think about when you're trying to do this is to have your shoulder touch your chin before you hit. So if I feel that shoulder actually on my chin, it means I've coiled all the way. If I don't feel my shoulder on my chin, like this one, it means I could have turned my shoulder more. So shoulder on the chin for a brief moment before we start our swing. And this is the same whether you're doing one hand or two-handed shots, we still wanna get that shoulder turned. So now here's an example of not turning the shoulders fully. So notice I'm just taking the paddle back with my arm with one hand on it. And I'm just using my arm on the swing. So it's gonna end up being a weaker shot, but also I'm putting a lot of strain on my arm because I'm literally just swinging with my arm only, as opposed to fully engaging that upper body now the easiest way to ensure that you are turning your shoulders every time is to take your paddle back with two hands on it. Doesn't matter whether you're doing a two-handed shot or a one-handed shot, you should be taking your paddle back with two hands because what that does is it forces you to turn that shoulder every time. When I take the paddle back with one hand, I can take it back without doing anything with this shoulder. And so I would have to actually force myself to then turn that shoulder, which I don't wanna to have to think about when that ball is coming at me and I'm preparing my swing. So instead, if I take, take the paddle back with just two hands on it, watch how this shoulder naturally turns. And then I can let go of this hand if I wanna hit a one-handed shot. After I've turned my shoulders all the way, I can take this hand off. Same thing is true on the backhand. Even if you hit a one-handed backhand, I don't wanna take my paddle back like this because it doesn't make this shoulder turn. But if I take the paddle back with two hands on it, now my shoulder's turning, and then I can swing with one hand if I choose to. So I'm turning with two hands on the paddle, and then I'm swinging with one. So start using this simple tip to stay healthy on the court and play better spec tennis.